Hello, everybody. It's Pat Shaw from Off the Rails TCG on the call tonight with a Clash game. Uh, co-hosting with me is Will Knuckle of the Table Pit. Will, how you doing tonight? I'm doing great. I'm so excited to watch these two heroes clash. <laughs> yes, Clash, the uh, the format where rares and commons can be played, uh, specializations of all rarities uh, and majestic weapons are all allowed, and uh, tonight we have a good one in front of us. We have Icelander versus Vincent. Will, what are your what are your initial thoughts coming into uh, this particular matchup? Well, my first initial thing is uh, what I see in front of us, which is the Scepter of Pain being played, uh, being mm-hmm, activated, mm-hmm. because uh, Vincent specifically is allowed to use their specialization and chose not to, the specialization being the... Uh, uh, the whip? What is it? A flail of agony, right? Yes, yes. It looks uh, like we saw a Scepter of Pain activation, which is yeah. not damage, creating a rune chant. Uh, and Icelander drew up. And so it looks like Vincent had the, had the start on turn zero. Uh, Icelander is up, showing the yellow Aether Ice Vein fused with uh, the attack uh, and the Polar Blast. Whoa, what's happening? Oh, you know what? His board's a little crowded. I believe he pitched. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, the... Yeah. the uh, yeah, uh, so pitch pitch the uh, the attack uh, is showing polar blast. Yeah, he's fusing with polar blast. Uh, notably, uh, Vincent has one AB and two spell void. Oh, but the Oasis respite. Okay, well that just covers it up completely. Look at that. It does. It does full full coverage. Doesn't get the the full value with the life gain because Icelander is starting the game at uh, eighteen to Vincent's twenty, but damage is prevented and no discard uh, is forced there. So actually, Vincent solid has defensive play two AB uh, with the Arcane Lantern that I already forgot about. Um, this matchup's interesting. I assume you asked me about the matchup, and I think Vincent is probably just going to try to. Either absolutely just try to run over the Icelander. I think that's what I would do if I was only running two AB. Um, but you could mm-hmm. also see them try to stack up a huge amount of rune chance. Um, whereas uh, Icelander is probably just going to play the classic uh, tempo strategy of just playing, you know, good value cards and slowing the opponent down. Uh, and it looks like they're already doing that. They played it in response to Vince's ability. Is that start of turn or start of action phase? Um, that's a good question. Um, I believe that ability is a start of turn, but I, I yeah, think there okay, is a so. priority pass there. Yeah, so we're still in uh Vincent's turn because it looks like uh the waning moon is coming in for three. Pitching on so your we had a polar turn. blast in Arsenal, played it. Yeah. Oof. Oh, they're going to end a turn already. All right. So Vincent had a frostbite, but they've built up two rune chants. They tossed a little damage back and forth, mm-hmm. uh, going back to Icelander. We don't know yeah. how many cards are in hand. I assume Vin- uh, Icelander probably still has like three cards in hand. Yeah, here you see it. Aether Ice Vein, uh, pitching a card, and then probably fusing? Maybe fusing? Yes, there's a fuse. Yeah. An ice card. Let's I'm assuming that's the one going in Arsenal Arctic as well. Incarceration. Yep. It's a sweet one to go in Arsenal for sure. Uh, you know, I suppose if you like ice, if you hate ice, this is terrible to see. I miss ice. Do you miss ice? I <laughs> like a hole in the <laughs> head. Um, I do know. I do see that uh, Vincent has uh, a tiny little frostbite, which must be tickling you just to just pink seeing that. I absolutely love that. It is adorable. I, I didn't want to. I screamed off mic uh, earlier when I saw it come into play. Um, <laughs> this is great. Okay. It looks like we've moved to Vincent's turn. Uh, they played the, another rune chant is being made. Yeah, going to three rune chants. It looks like they banished a deathly delight at this turn. Uh, and as an instant, we see the Arctic incarceration being made for uh, one frostbite. It has to be one because it's blue. Yeah, one frostbite, but then also the frostbite for her ability by playing it on the opponent's turn. Yes. Uh, creating two of the Deathly Delight, still being able to get played for uh, three rune chants and five. And uh, this attack is uh, when the combat chain closes, you gain life equal to the number of heroes who have lost life this turn. 
which is kind of great because what's one way you can get around not having uh, as much AB as you possibly can is just gaining life. Oh, and it hits. All right, there we go. Yes. Or at least the rune chance does. Okay, the rune chance too. All right, now for the five coming in. That means rune chance coming in. Looks like they're trying to block six, or at least block out. So took the three rune chance down to 15, uh, did not take the hit. Uh, The combat chain did close, gained. It looks like Vincent did gain the life to go to 14. Uh, The card stays in Arsenal. There's a Uh, The rune chant card. I was like, what is face down? There's no trap cards here. Um, (laughs) But it does look like Vincent will pass off to Icelander, who is running uh, the Frost Helm, the Goliath Gauntlet, Iron Rot, and there it is. And Threadbare Tunic. The Gauntlet is broken. A plus two in the next attack action. We see a Findel's Fighting Spirit uh, not getting the full value out of it. So it's still, but it's still going in for nine. Nine's not nothing. A two card nine is huge. It is. I know you're breaking two a piece card of an nine equipment. In blitz. But it's great. Uh, class. That's, you know that's that's what it's there for. You know, it's the gauntlet makes something just a little too big, Whoa. and we see. Oh, oh, it doesn't look like a full block is is able here. Uh, that is a two block on the pummel uh, plus six. So it uh, looks like they're blocking eight, taking one, uh, going down to thirteen. Okay, Pat, who's winning here? They've been trading back and forth. Who's winning? Who's uh, in the driver's seat? Hmm. Um, with that block right there, I think Icelander just gained tempo. Um, I don't. Vincent doesn't have enough rune chance unless they have something out of Arsenal here that's going to create something for them to be able to get a rune gate card out. And as we can see here, he they do not. So they're drawing right up and passing back to Icelander. So uh, this is uh, her chance to really put the the uh, the foot on the gas. And we see a wounded bull again. Oh you know, my gosh. she's so used to being, uh, you know, low, lower life total that it's almost it's almost a little disappointing when you see these things come out for you know not the super above rate. But uh, the wounded bull coming out attacking four seven. Uh, we see the Vincent reacting with the reduced to rune chant, gaining the rune chant, but it blocking four, taking three, going down to ten. Talking about value, that's blocking four and creating a rune chant. That's five value off of one card. They're outvaluing Icelander. That's nuts. Do you do you count value like you create the rune chain? Is that a value if you pop like when it pops and hits? Is that like another value? Well, it's interesting, right? Because there's like fractions of value can conditionally also like reduce the cost of cards as like for all of the mm-hmm. rune gate cards, but then also cards like rune flash. Right. And so a rune chain is probably worth more than one value, actually, I believe. Or at least, mm. typically, that's what I think of. Um, they banished a Deathly Delight, and they have the three rune chance. I think they're thinking about what else they want to... Oh, but Icelander has something to, to do before they get started. <laughs> it's the specialization. Bringing in the close-up. Bringing in the close-up. Ice Eternal. It is a rare, but it is an Icelander specialization. Of course, all specializations of all rarities can be played in the Clash format. Uh, it does have an Ice Fusion. It says, create X Frostbite token under target hero's control. Then, if Ice Eternal was fused, and we just saw the fusion, I believe, um, deal arcane damage to that hero equal to the number of Frostbites they control. Looks like Vincent's up to four Frostbites here. Yeah, it looks like, so it costs XX. It looks like they paid four for each X, so it's probably going to create four Frostbites, deal four Arcane Damage, which is going to be really rough, because if you wanted to play that Deathly Delight for free off of the Rune Chance, you're still going to have to push through those Frostbites. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So you're still going to have to pay through all those Frostbites. It looks like they did Arcane Barrier 2, and... Right, yeah, I believe they arcane yeah. barrier two took two, and took one for blood debt uh, to f- to lose three life total, and it looks like they're drawing three and passing, and Icelander is going to arsenal and pass. So I think this is like a deciding point in the game, right? Like Icelander arsenal, that's likely something good, but they did not, right? They didn't present another powerful attack, so. 
you know, Vincent is now in the driver's seat and at least in the terms of uh, being able to make some actions here uh, and try to get it back. And as I say that, <laughs> Arctic incarceration hits the table Two more and says a big F you to Vincent. So I feel like as a wizard, hope you don't <laughs> hope yeah. you don't like playing games because <laughs> yeah, yeah, this yeah. is Icelander says you cannot play. Please have something other than uh, please don't only have reds in your hand because you're probably going to be passing most of the turn. Um, so, oh, but here we go. Ooh, we see the mob sky. Mob sky chewing up all the frostbites Ooh. there with a two. Reds. Uh, that is two. Yeah, two reds. You know, hell of a hand to do it. With. Uh, so four rune chants still out there. Mob sky is giving something go again. Icelander is pitching. Waning moon. Oh, it looks like they're attacking with waning moon. For three arcane. So I think this is definitely Vincent's place to do something this turn. But mm -hmm. also, like, as a wizard, if you're at parity with your opponent, like, if you're, you know, if you feel like the game's going pretty even, but you're the wizard, you're already winning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Because you're usually a half a turn ahead, right? So if you're, if you're, if everything's equal, you can still kind of cheat a little oh. bit and get that. That oh, footstep. There's a big turn coming up oh right here. Oh my gosh. We got Mob Skies. Mob Skies yellow. Goliath Gauntlet is broken. The Vantam Banshee uh, for plus two coming in oh for nine gosh. and four rune chants. Okay. With go again, on hit, create two rune chants. Is it is it a yellow or is it a red? If it's a red, he might be able to. No, it looks e like a even yellow if it is a yellow, skies, if this is a red, he can play the. Uh, uh, Deathly Delight out of our, out of uh, Banished as well. So you, Iceland yes. has to block this out. Uh, we do see an Iron Rot Legs block. Uh, so it did look like they took they took some amount. Uh, lost track of that. Uh, things are moving fast here, uh, but it does look like they'll block for at least five of that nine, from what I'm seeing. And it does hit, so it does create the two rune chants. And as you comes. so astutely called, the Deathly Delight. Oh my gosh. And then he's going to gain two which life. Which gains, yeah, he two sure life, is. Because he already took the Waning Moon earlier. This is, mm -hmm. this is, a, this is a turning point. This, this is, game's this going is, back and forth. This is a great game. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. This is Vincent trying to answer back and doing it very effectively. Icelander's going to block three, coming out one. to block. Looks like it. Going down to four. Four, four. It's anyone's game. Oh, my gosh. It is going back to the Icelander's turn. Uh, and they can always do stuff like uh, Meredith scolding out of Arsenal. That's just four arcane damage into Waning Moon. And that probably won't end the game. But, like, the, you, you got you to gotta know about this kind of stuff as the Vin set. Uh, it's still mm -hmm. anyone's game. Looks like they're going to break Glacial Horns, Whoa. and as an action, uh, uh, choose a hero, freeze up to one card in their arsenal, and I didn't get the chance to read it. the rest of it. But that, That's uh, exactly what they did. They uh, froze the arsenal. You know, so the arsenal is now now frozen. Tapped arsenal. You know, if you're going to do it, that's that's the thing to do. right? If you're Don't give them the five-card hand. Oh, he, uh, also But Icelander to, looks uh, like arsenal's up and gets back to it. It also gets to uh, freeze an ally they control. So freeze all of Vincent's allies. Ah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no Nazret coming out uh, on this turn. Nope. All right. Making the rune chant. Ooh. Oh, boy. Response. Oh, boy. Yep. Rune chant response. Ice eternal. A whole bunch in the pitch. And no way says respite. But does oh, that count? My I believe goodness. the. Frostbites are creating one instance each, I believe. Oh my goodness! They're looking. So I, th I wait, feel like what happens. I want the is, Oasis respite. So, so what will happen is uh, the uh, Ice Eternal will go on the stack, and before it resolves, mm -hmm. you play the uh, Oasis respite. So the Oasis respite will resolve targeting that card on the uh, Ice Eternal on the stack. Then when right. Ice Eternal Resolves gives a bunch of Frostbites, then does the Arcane Damage. Uh, which would get mm -hmm. prevented. Mm -hmm. So, 
It's it's so the, it, so the ice eternal is give the ice eternal is the one giving the arcane damage. Yeah, it's all stuffed. Um, so all don't right. have to don't have to. It, Vince, have, it it works out really well because it stuffs all the arcane damage from the attack, and they still had to do all the extra pitching and revealing beforehand. So Vince had got yeah. a lot of information and uh, got to do a lot of things. Yeah, and that really that's the second one for Icelander. So that is out. Yeah, no more of those. You got to be feeling good about that. Yeah, you're right. All right. Not that I was doubting you, but I did look it up and just <laughs> for my own, for my own, uh, you got to watch peace me. of mind. You got to watch me. I'm a UPF player. We don't have to, we don't have to pay attention yeah. to the rules. <laughs> it's, this is all politics here. <laughs> all right. We got two rune chants and a card and banish that you can use. Uh, Icelander looks like they're going to pass priority and let them play the Deathly Delight. Coming in for two and four. Threatening uh, this again, the life game. Yeah, yeah, really swinging the swinging the game back uh, into Vincent's favor. You know that that higher you know, talk about uh, wizards wanting parity, uh, but to take a uh, uh, to take that life gain and and kind of uh, escape those those lethal ranges uh, from Icelanders gonna be frustrating for. Her. Looks like Icelanders not gonna try and kill him yet. Looks like they're pitching. Well, maybe we'll see what happens. But uh, pitching is that a red? They pitched a red to prevent one of the rune chants and then took one of them. It looks like it. Blocking with a Findle's oh, fighting spirit. We're seeing a ah uh, yes. So four, two blocking four, taking one gaining one, uh, taking two gaining one. Mm-hmm. <gasps> the pummel. Oh no! The, the reaction. Pummel! The pummel reaction. The pummel. All right, we're in reactions. Does Icelander have an oh, out? Oh boy! They have to kill him right now. I don't. I don't think this they is Icelander's they running. Get, reacts. They to, no way. They have to do it. They have to oh, kill man. him right now. If the sink below comes out of Arsenal right now, There's boy no howdy. Way. Boy howdy's right. Okay, pitching. <laughs> pitching. Oh, we see a pitch. There's frost axe. Uh, interesting. I don't know if that's gonna do it. That's gonna give him a frostbite. Oh. Threadbare tunic Threadbare gives them a resource. Uh, waning moon, waning moon for three. I think, I think I said it still here. has cards and hands to pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a red. Yeah, I don't I mean, see a way out of this. Too. I think he also has a uh, spell void in his helmet if he needed it. He sure does. I don't see, I, I don't see a way out. Icelander I think survives. Is, Icelander's... Oh, is this the game? Whoa! There's more pitching. <laughs> oh, and then it looks like that's the game. <laughs> Vincent pummels their way to victory over Icelander in this frenetic back and forth game of Clash. Oh my gosh, my heart is racing. It was just back and forth and back and forth. But that's what you get out of games like this, uh, Clash and in Blitz, where it just it just runs, dude. Games are so fast. Yeah, I, I I like the uh, I like the forty card formats because uh, it it takes what I think is like kind of the best part of Flesh and Blood, and it's like uh, you get into the you get into you know the mid game into the late game where you've 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 skipped all the formalities of you know doing the things and and you know blocking, and now you're getting into and like none of it actually matters, uh, and once you get you know, once you get to this level, like every hit matters. Uh, like you're playing to you're playing to survive or you're playing to kill, and you're doing that from turn zero. And that's what you know. That's what I love love best about about these forty card formats. Across the format, really these these matchups get really really tight. Uh, no matter who your hero is, uh, and there's a lot of a lot of good build variety uh, in this format. And you know. Uh, people who haven't tried it, I, I encourage you to uh, at least go into like fabrary.net, which is, which does have a clash format selector uh, and just give it a shot. And uh, you know, there's a, it's a, it's pretty wide open. And it's a good place to have, have some fun and it's accessible. Um, so it's that's ex- kind of all the reasons why the clash league is uh, being built in the first place. It's easy to get into because you don't have to get legendaries or necessarily some really big cards into your deck. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, as we just saw right there, some explosive, powerful gameplay. It's not quite commoner. 
where commoner almost feels like CC in the fact that you're grinding for every point. Whereas this still feels like blitz without having to pay those prices because you are just still being explosive and still feeling unique to your hero that you're playing. For sure. And and you can still play with some of your favorite cards and, and just not feel as, as, as restricted held back by uh, either, you know, your budget or for one reason or another, not, you know, having, you know, what people would assume are the, you know, the right cards or optimal cards uh, there. Uh, but that is going to do it for this game here. Uh, again, I am Pat Shaw with Off the Rails TCG. Uh, you can find my YouTube at that uh, that handle, Off the Rails TCG, and uh, as well as my social media on X or Twitter. Uh, Will, where can we find you? Uh, we're on YouTube as as the Table Pit. We also do a lot of memeing on Twitter, and we've been trying to stream on Twitch lately, streaming UPF uh, webcam UPF and streaming uh, our call in show pit against uh, other than that I think right now I'm going to go find my clash deck and see if I can update it because I think it needs updating after watching that I, I'm going to need a stronger deck than what I thought I, need, I thought I had all right, all right that is going to do it for us thanks again uh, for tuning in and uh, you know have uh, have some fun clashing guys peace peace peace